The Story of Churning the Sea of Milk Once upon a time, after the Great Flood, some divine treasures were submerged in the Milky Sea. That day, Indra, king of the gods according to Indian mythology, one day went for a walk on an elephant. While passing through a forest, a hermit named Durvasa, a very hot-tempered ancient rishi, rishi can be considered monks, enlightened scholars, outside the influence of the gods, stood beside him, offered Indra a mala, garland. According to Indian custom, it is an act of reverence because the wreath symbolizes Shri, Sanskrit meaning luck, fortune. Indra happily accepted that offering and placed it on the trunk of the elephant he was riding. But unfortunately, the wreath made from wild flowers has a very pungent smell. The elephant immediately threw the wreath to the ground and trampled it with his feet. An extremely offensive and blasphemous act. The hermit immediately revealed his true form as a god named Durvasa Muni. He cursed Indra and all the gods, Devas, to lose all immortality, power, treasure and luck like the goblins, Asuras. Hearing the news that the Devas, gods, had lost their power, the Asura gathered their forces and planned to lead troops to conquer the heavens. At this point I must introduce, Asura is a species that is hostile to the gods, a form of anti-god, just like the confrontation between angels and demons in Catholic mythology. The Asuras are mostly evil, there are still a part of the Asuras who are good, have a fierce appearance, possess a lot of strength, and are probably a powerful species second only to the gods. In Buddhist concept, Asura is also called Asura, is one of the six reincarnations. All people with fierce and hot temper will be reincarnated into Asura life, in general still more blessings and happiness than in human life. Worried that they might lose everything, the Devas immediately sought the advice of Vishnu, the protector one of the three supreme gods of Hinduism. Vishnu revealed information that in the heart of the Milk Sea, Samudra according to Sanskrit, translated in English as Milk Ocean, probably today's Bay of Bengal, contained many treasures including a jar containing Amrita, nectar of immortality water, honey. Immortality. Vishnu advised the gods to challenge the Asuras to the Milk Sea to compete their talents. The Devas and Asuras used the serpent king Vasuki, in the form of a giant snake with seven or nine heads, to wrap around the shaft and pull it in both directions, like how the ancients stirred butter from milk. Due to Vishnu's advice, the Devas won the snake's tail, and the head with nine venom-spewing heads of snake king Vasuki, gave, to the Asuras. Both groups pushed and pulled Vasuki's giant body to churn the milky ocean like people churning butter. The mountain Mandara used as an axis slowly sank below the water level. To help the Devas restore their power, Vishnu immediately transformed into Kirma, turtle god, carrying Mandara mountain on his back and bounced it out of the water so that the Devas could continue their work. After thousands of years of being churned to the bottom, the foamy milk sea and its contents slowly emerged. First is halahala, a poisonous substance that burns anything it touches. Perhaps Vasuki's venom spewed out during the process of churning the milk sea. The snake Vasuki was tortured for thousands of years, spitting out all the poisonous substances. Poison in the body. That giant Halahal kept chasing after the Devas, causing them to run away in disarray. Fortunately, thanks to Shiva, the god of protection, rebirth and destruction, he appeared and swallowed the lump of Halahala, saving the world from destruction. 
This story leads to the Shivaratri festival and will be presented on another occasion. Next, from the white foam, a beautiful lotus flower emerged and opened, revealing a goddess dressed in red inside. That is, the goddess of wealth and prosperity. Vishnu immediately took off his Kurma turtle incarnation, reappearing as a supreme and handsome god, happily lifted Lakshmi's hand and took him to his palace to be his wife. The Devas, after Shiva swallowed Halahala, hastily returned to receive the Ratna, Sanskrit, treasure, slowly emerging from the bottom of the Milky Sea. Aspara, fairy. Sura, goddess of wine possessed by the Asuras. Kamaduk, cow god of wishes. Lakshmi sat on the back of this sacred cow and returned to Vishnu. Hindu cow worship comes from here. Aravada, white elephant god. Indra caught it instead of the stupid elephant from before. The seven-headed horse Yuka's Ravas was captured by the demon. Vishnu also captured the most precious gem in the world, Kastaba, the Shanka Konk. The divine Parajat flower tree with flowers that never wilt was brought by the Devas to Indra's heaven. Shiva was offered the moon and Chandra placed it on his forehead so that the coldness of the moon would cool down the burning heat of the Halahala poison. Treasures emerge from the ocean of milk finally. The Amrita jar containing the legendary water of immortality emerges. Deva and Asura fought fiercely for the precious Amrita vase. The divine bird Garuda, Vishnu's mount, grabbed the Amrita vase and flew high into the tank to protect it from being broken by the weapons of both sides. Rahu, a winged demon king, flew after Garuda and won Amrita. Rahu landed on a mountain top and happily looked at the jar of Amrita before opening the lid to enjoy. Suddenly, an extremely voluptuous nymph named Vishnu in transformation appeared before Rahu. Mahini danced to celebrate Rahu, who won the first prize in the competition between Deva and Asura. When Rahu was fascinated with his dances, Taking advantage of Mahini Vishnu took the Amrita vase and threw it to the Devas waiting at the foot of the mountain. Without any delay, the Devas shared the last drop of Amrita and became immortal again. Today, upon arriving at Suwanapum Airport in Bangkok, Thailand, in the large hall of the airport, you see a group of beautiful statues depicting two groups of people using the body of a giant snake to rotate an axis with a large turtle as a pillar to stir up the sea. This cluster of statues is called Samudra Munthan according to Sanskrit, meaning the churning of the milk ocean, reenacting a story in Indian mythology. This story is often depicted in Hindu temples that are majestic. The most majestic is at Angkor Wat, Cambodia. And that is also the story of the appearance of Goddess Lakshmi. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.